Love in video games can be pretty weird. You can be trying to get things going on with a pigeon, or you are a most wanted criminal that wants to hook up. If you are looking for ways to meet the love of your life, you should definitely not use video games as your source of reference. Even though games are looking more and more realistic, actual relationships in video games are anything but that. Here are 10 games that represent love in a very weird way. Even though Sims 4 is called a social simulator, it's still very weird. The social interactions are pretty ridiculous. Of course, there are different ways to seduce that sexy neighbor, but generally you just call them over and drop a joke every one or two interactions. What follows is that you start tickling him or her as much as you can. And before you know it, you're getting lucky under the sheets. <laughs> Has any of this stuff ever worked for you guys in real life? In Stardew Valley, you need to figure out what certain characters like in order to make them fall in love with you. If one of them is all about those vegetables, gift him or her some veggies. When you do this often, your relationship will grow. Appreciation will become friendship and friendship will become love. But in all honesty, we have never heard of anyone falling in love with someone after being given a broccoli or cauliflower. Let's just say it's one of those weird video game things that don't really work in real life. Okay, just getting set up here to stream some Hatterful Boyfriend, a game where you find love at a school for birds. Man, I can't believe this game exists. Over the past months, we've seen an increase in visual novels. Hatful Boyfriend really stands out as one of the more unique ones. Not because of its design, but mostly because the game makes you date pigeons. Every character in this game is a pigeon except the protagonist. The conversations in this game are excellent, but the idea of dating a bird is just crazy. Let's not do that in real life, okay? If the Japanese are wrong, then I don't want to be right. Well, that was my look at some Hatiful Boyfriend. Crazy, man. Oh, I've got some ideas. Miranda, you're here, you're beautiful, and I have you to myself. So tonight, I'm just going to be a regular guy taking his best girl out on the town. Romancing a character in one of Bioware's games has become a key element of their video games. It's one of the things Mass Effect and Dragon Age have been praised for so often. But in the end, it's all about giving the right answers at the right time. And sure, if we want to play our cards right, this might work in real life too. But it's not a great way to start a relationship. Neither would I. In the Mass Effect trilogy, we got to romance many characters, ranging from human characters to more exotic alien species. Mass Effect is pretty liberal when it comes to love. Oh! oh we were just, uh... I, I, well, I, I just, uh, I came to say goodbye and, well... I still love you. <laughs> Do you really mean that? We're in this world for the long haul together. Just like the Mass Effect series, the Fallout series is also full of romance. However, Fallout's way of showing love is a bit black and white. Good characters fall in love with you for doing nice things, while the bad characters love it when you're being evil. For example, in Fallout 4, you can court a female cage fighter. For every raider you kill, she will love you more. That's a pretty weird basis for a relationship, if you ask us. Of course I do. I'm in love with you, Kate. You... you're what? You said... you're in love with me. I... I didn't know. I mean, I felt something between us, but I thought it was something else. Darling, I've been waiting for you to return. 
to consummate our love. Skyrim is one of the most praised games of recent years. This open-world role-playing game has an insane amount of features, including marriage. In true role-playing fashion, you can increase your standing with some of the other characters by doing quests. If you find the Amulet of Mara, a new dialogue tree will be opened. This will unlock the potential to get married. Just equip the amulet and when you have a suitor that's interested, you can agree to get married. Who would have thought I would be getting married? Can you imagine if getting married in real life was that easy? I declare this couple to be wed. <clears throat> I present the two of you with these matching rings, blessed by Mara's divine grace. Even though they have different names, Story of Seasons and Harvest Moon are of course basically the same game. In these farming simulation games you need to build your farm and help the town. In the process you will meet other characters. These characters will find you charming when you give them an egg every day. If you keep doing this on a daily basis it will eventually turn into love. Now, I don't know about you, but we've never heard about a person falling in love because they were given eggs. It might be worth a try, but more likely, it will only make you look like the town freak. Shall we sit here? Okay, why not? Out of all the games in this video, for some weird reason, Tomodachi Life is actually able to portray love a little bit more realistically. After dating, you can become sweethearts. At this point, Ami can confess his love at a romantic location. This step can be followed by a marriage proposal. I want to propose to Elvin. Do you think I should? Would you marry me? I'd love to. And when gamers decide not to invest time in a relationship, it obviously can end too. But everything in Tomodachi life feels so much like an IKEA building game. It still feels off. For example, getting babies is only possible once the Mies are married and same-sex relationships are not an option. It's close, but Tomodachi life is not real life. I somehow feel that I have always loved you. Together we will save this world. In Fire Emblem Awakening, love is about dealing more damage together and creating a super baby with high stats and powerful attacks. In Fire Emblem, the characters form bonds by talking with each other a lot. Eventually, this can lead to marriage. I promise to be a great wife. I love you more than anything ever. Never leave me. But in the end, you're doing this all for the efficiency of your team. Maybe, in some primordial way, that's exactly what love's about. But it's not what we want it to be about. Let's all learn from this and don't date people to create super babies, shall we? And if you do, don't talk about this kind of stuff on the first date. It's kind of weird. Um, now that we're done here, would you like to come over to my place for once? I actually bought a kotatsu. It's, uh, nice and warm. We haven't played Persona 5 yet, so let's talk about the amazing Persona 4. This RPG is basically a mix between a dungeon crawler and a social sim. You don't have to, but you can get social with other characters in this game. Hanging out together will level up your social link and benefit you and your team in battle. Once again, not a really proper motivation for a relationship. Well, now where are you going? Who are you going to see? It's a girl, isn't it? It's possible to date multiple girls at the same time, but this will come back to bite you when Valentine's Day or Christmas comes around. That's actually a good point. Stick to one relationship if you want to stay out of trouble. You're too straightforward. I, I hate you, stupid. That's why you're so popular. What the hell, man? What kind of crazy voodoo are you doing to be such a chick magnet? How can one guy be so popular with the ladies? Do you agree that video game love is still represented in weird ways? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I love you.
and I'll spend the rest of my life with you. Even if your proposal was pretty weak.